All right, Rural Today, it is Property of the Week time now. We're joined by David Peacock. We're talking about a wonderful property. It's a dairy goat farm in uh, Waharoa, just uh, north of Matamata. David, nice to chat. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Tom. How are you going? I'm really good. Uh, a dairy goat farm. Tell us about this. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a tidy little block uh, in the Waharoa district, 62-odd um, hectares. And uh, it's located only 12 kilometres north of Matamata, so so prime Waikato real estate. So um, the uh, dairy goat uh, industry is something that's uh, taking off at the moment. We've done a few stories about that recently. Um, so um, I imagine there's been a bit of interest in this, has there? Yeah, look, there has, Don. We, we just got it listed to get it up on the, uh, on the internet over Christmas so that um, people, while they're relaxing, had a chance to have a look at it. Uh, we have the first open day uh, this week, Thursday the 21st. So the campaign's really just kicking off uh, this week. So tell us a little bit about it in terms of, uh, like, for example, how many uh, how many goats are, are, are on, the, uh, on the property at the moment? Yeah, sure. So at the moment they're milking 650, 700 goats. Um, so they've got uh, shares in the New Zealand Dairy Co- Goat Co-op uh, of 78,800 and 13 shares. So what they've found is that 650 to 700 does in milk will, will produce that, um, that level of production quite comfortably. They have in the past milked up to 900. Uh, they've buttoned back a bit now and they, uh, they milk a couple of hundred of the older does right through the winter. So uh, it is or can be a 365-day um, a operation if that's what uh, the operator chose. Sure, and I mean, in terms of what it yields, then, in uh, in terms of the milk solids, what sort of numbers are we looking at there? Oh, look, the the, the, the three year average is a bit over seventy nine thousand kilos. So, it's a very um, very well set up system. They've been farming it for fifteen years and converted it to goats themselves. So, what they have, um, I suppose, the management system that they have found works best. Is uh, it's not cut and carry like your traditional dairy goat farm. So they they harvest the pasture five times a year and they put it all into silage, and then they grow maize silage. So every day the goats are getting a consistent diet, which is uh, um, it's in a blended in a mixing wagon, grass silage, maize silage, and a bit of imported canola, DDG, and maize grain. So the strength of the system really is its simplicity. Um, it's they guaranteed that production, so the only variable then becomes uh, the milk price. So, yeah. in terms of of investment, what you've got is a very simply managed system, um, low variability in production. So we end up with a, a sustainable, low risk investment. So, tell me about uh, the uh, infrastructure around the actual property itself as well, in terms of uh, being able to run this operation. So to start with the, the goat side of things, there's four goat barns. Um, two of them are a little bit newer, but the, the, the area of those is about 6,800 square metres. So the capacity is about 1,450 goats. Um, they've, they've currently got, as I said, 700 odd, 650, 700 does. They rear a couple of hundred kids and they have 30 odd uh, bucks in, in there as well, down one corner. Uh, also under cover in the sheds there, they have got a couple of bays for storage of the hard feed, the, the canola and the DEG and that sort of thing. So um, all very modern um, infrastructure, good um, uh, corrugated iron roof pole based sheds, concrete strip down the, me- uh, down the middle, a feeding strip. Um, and in the front of that, there's quite a large concrete area for the storage of the silage. So there's a maze bunker. Uh, and quite a big area for storage of the the grass silage. So it's all contained um, pretty tightly. Uh, And along with that, uh, you have um, uh, three houses for the staff. So the main house is is quite a modern three-bedroom dwelling. Um, There's a new or 2018 built two-bedroom cottage. And then the original home, which is a, a weatherboard 1940s uh, comfortable three bedroom dwelling. So, plenty of accommodation for the staff and, and very good um, dairy goat infrastructure. Um, the, the, the milking parlour itself is a 48 bale internal rotary. So, um, yeah, it, it's all, it all runs very smoothly.
It sounds like it does, yeah. It sounds like a really uh, polished and uh, up-to-date property. Uh, people are interested and want some more information about it. Uh, what would be the best way for them to go about it? Um, oh, look, they can they can ring uh, either Malcolm Wallace or myself. Uh, all of the information is is on the um, on the property brokers website. And uh, as I said, we'll be doing open day starting this Thursday. And uh, yeah, happy to take any phone calls on it or, or any ma email inquiries. Wonderful stuff. Dairy Goat Farm, just north of uh, Matamata. And uh, look, if you want to uh, check it out, make sure you go to propertybrokers.co.nz. All the information is there. David Peacock, it's been a pleasure uh, chatting with you on the program. Thank you so much. Very good. Thanks for your time, Dom.